Hey guys, my name is Clark and welcome back to my channel, Printed Props. So this video, I'll be showcasing the Militech Achilles M-179E from Cyberpunk 2077. So this I've been working on for a few months now. Um, it's like a cosplay prop, or if, you're, if you've are if got a 3D printer or whatever, maybe you want to collect stuff like this. Um, because I'm definitely making my own collection of all sorts of props and stuff. So this Militech Achilles, the first time I saw this was in the the 2018 trailer, Cyberpunk 2077 trailer. Uh, you can look it up on YouTube. And um, and in that video it only shows this for about a couple seconds, maybe like literally just it flashes past like within, a, within like two seconds or something. And I got a bunch of reference images from that video uh, to make this, as well as from the game, now that the game's out about a month ago. So in the gameplay trailer it shows V opening a case, and in that case it reveals this Militech Achilles uh, disassembled into multiple pieces, and I wanted to replicate that because I thought that was really cool, just, to, just in case I want to frame this or like put it in its own case or something like that. But um, I just want to make this like sort of you know realistic how like it was all in, you know disassembled in multiple pieces in the game. Here I'm showing the assembly. So one side slots onto the central part, the main part, and then the other side. Now as each side you can see here there's got two slots. And those two slots in the top barrel go into the two sort of oval shaped dowels in the in the main part. So they just basically slot in there. Now I couldn't just magnetize the top barrels on because the magnets would not be strong enough so that's why I went with this whole slot thing. It's pretty simple to assemble and then you just get the locking bar and the locking bar has got a magnet on the end of it and you shove it through and it just snaps into place nicely. Now these magnets, these magnets here, they're neodyme magnets, neodymium, whatever they're called. Uh, just the cheap ones you get online. They're 10 by 10 millimeter in size, or you can get a 10 millimeter diameter round ones. Um, doesn't really matter, but those are the ones I use. You need about eight of them. As you can see, it's pretty strong. It doesn't fall apart or whatever, because that locking bar helps it uh, stay in place, uh, as well as the magnets and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yep, I don't recommend shaking around upside down, but you can do it. And here is a view looking down the middle of the barrel and how it all sort of fits together. I also have the removable magazine or whatever that is that you see in the trailer. And um, yep, that's made of multiple little pieces. So you can just paint them. I painted the yellow bits. Um, you can paint them or don't paint them, whatever. Uh, again, each color is its own piece and that neatly goes into that opening thing. So this has been printed out of uh, PLA, so all of it's basically PLA, um, and about 140 something pieces, around 140 something um, individual pieces uh, that I've printed for this. Now the way I've actually done it is that um, obviously I have a 3D printer, I printed this myself, so I designed the parts to be uh, really simple to print with a 3D printer. A lot of the files on Thingiverse, or some of the files on Thingiverse, especially when it comes to props, I realize is that they just they just sort of like do up the model or they export it from the game and then they just slice it up roughly and then just stick it on Thingiverse or whatever. Um, but this is actually like each each thing was done from scratch um, with 3D printing uh, in mind. And um, so each color you see here. Now I did not paint any of this except for the blue bits. So the blue bits are painted but all the other bits you don't need to paint. Um, so how I achieve that is that each piece is each piece that it's, is its own color. So for example, this white piece here, um, that is a separate piece from the gray piece. Uh, this black piece here, this, this side rail thing, uh, that is, that's magnetized as well. Um, so um, more about that later. If you want to, if you have the correct color filament, you don't have to paint it. You can just print it in the correct color. You can purchase these files from my Etsy store. Uh, link into the description below. Um, you get both versions in there. There's 20% larger and the smaller one, which you see here, uh, depending on the size of your printer or what size you want to print it, the size of your hands or whatever. 
Now this model right here that you see in this video right in front of me, um, this is good if you have like small to medium sized hands or a smaller printer because all these pieces are only require a printer that's 150 by 150 by 150 millimeters uh, in print bed volume um, and this length is 870 millimeters um, I'm not sure how many inches that is but I'll put the inches on the screen if I remember and, um, and you also get one that's 20% larger and the 20% larger one is if you have a bigger printer or, or large hands or whatever and that is just over a meter long and for that you'll need a but for the larger 20% larger version you will need a larger printer that you have to have you have to have a print bed that's 20% larger than the 150 bed so obviously that's 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters um, print bed volume for the larger 20% larger version so um so if you have a larger, see if you have a large enough printer, um, you can print the larger one. I'll say now this weighs. How much does this weigh? So you need, so you want to know how much filament this uses. So um, this thing weighs just under 1.7 kilograms. So that is one and three quarter spools of filament. If you use one kilogram filament, so you know just one point, about one 1.75 kilograms of filament. Let's say. Um, including some little bits, tiny bits of support material you have to remove. Now I tried keeping support material down to a minimum so a lot of these things don't require any support material just some of these parts require a small amount of support material because nobody likes removing support material, it's a pain and I keep 3D printing in mind when I made this so and if you want to see how this works, uh, I've got like just average size hands I guess so they fit on there like nice and snugly um, so that is how this one works. So uh, if your hands are larger than mine or the same size as mine or whatever, like maybe you want the 20% larger one. So yeah, it's up to you. So yeah, link in the description below. Um, I'm selling it on my Etsy store. So um, if you support my work, thanks in advance. I, um, I appreciate it. So I can hopefully like bring more of this stuff for you guys, make more of this stuff, uh, put more of this stuff onto the channel. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna make, next video is gonna be the the uh, the Arasaka uh, Shinjen. So yeah, that will be featured in my next video, and that should come out a lot faster than this thing took. If you want to see more of this content, uh, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, that helps this tiny channel grow, and uh, be sure to subscribe to see future videos such as the Shinjen I mentioned. And yeah, any suggestions for any future props? Um, I'm thinking of doing some Destiny 2. Uh, props from Destiny 2. Um, anything else, any other suggestions, um, I'll have a look and I'll see if I can model some of that stuff up. Thanks for watching.